So welcome to this uh, colloquium prepared in the framework of the Physics for Development program organized by the Forum of International Physics at the American Physical Society. So let me introduce the member of our panel first. So beyond myself, so my name is Christine Dorf, so I work at European Spallation Source. I'm the vice chair of the Forum of International Physics. So Luisa Sifarelli, who is from Bologna University, and she's the past chair of the FIP. Joni Mela from the ICTP is the chair elected. Alan Hurt, who is from Los Alamos, is the FIP chair. And uh, Marilena Lombard no, Lombardaghi, sorry, is uh, the um, newsletter editor. So we have also in our panel, so the Sesame team, with Andrea Lossi, who is the scientific director of the CAMI and Guillaume Camel, who is the main scientist at Sesame. So now I will introduce so our virtual platform. So before we travel to Jordani, where Andrea Lossi and Guillaume Camel will introduce the bright power of the Sesame light source. So then they will introduce our special guest today. So who is the speaker and his name is Claudio Tunis. He will transport us back in time to the footstep of Darwin 150 years later. Then we will return to this brave new world. And uh, in the meantime, you can as well write questions during his presentation or after in the chat box, which is below, or you can also have uh, the, the wave uh, button. So what does physics matter and why does physics matter? So because we are curious and we want to enrich and share our knowledge to create more balanced society, scientific society, but in short, the future society. So for that purpose, FIP, Forum for Development, also program and aims at inspiring and supporting international engagement for the APS among students and early career physicists targeting developing country audience, especially in the time when, due to the COVID pandemic, travel is difficult and even impossible. So we are living behind our screen and we depend on the machine. So let's make the best of this situation. So the origin of uh, this brilliant physics matter concept uh, has been launched in 2020 by Luisa Sifarelli and has been pre-recorded video, including and available. So I will share now some screen to be able to introduce all of that. So the presentation then uh, has been so. Oops, sorry. So from showing uh, in 2020 those different uh, epopes as well. So through the uh, through the, the the different presentations. So first starting with uh, Paola Catapano and Luisa herself, trying to insight as well people to understand how the cosmic ray and how physics has been as well driving the curiosity. Then there was a nice presentation as well and different uh, way of looking through the time and the space uh, with and to the, um, the um, digital transformation as you can see here by Sergio Ber uh, Bertolucci. So the um, presentation, so for this, um, I don't know, so excuse me. So the uh, physics uh, in 20, the physics matter in 2021, so is planned in a bit uh, different way because we would like to have a live uh, colloquia and we would like to involve uh, more the audience. So we are focusing on the Sesame project uh, where we have the possibility to involve uh, more, so seven countries uh, that have been identified through uh, an agreement as well mm -hmm. as between the Sesame and the APS. So involving so Israel, Iran, Pakistan, Egypt, Jordan, Cypria, and uh, uh, Turkey. So we will uh, try to um, let you inform about how all those things are developing. And uh, you have uh, so far so the possibility to join the FIP and you can see as well the different fixture uh, that will be posted on our website. So in the meantime, so I'll let you um, um, the flow, so Andrea, so that you can present the Sesame project huh? and then introduce our speaker. Yeah, thank you.
So this is the problem of having two screen. <laughs> So would you need help to share the screen? No? <clears throat> Christine, I believe um, Andrea lost his connection. He is not here. Okay. So yeah, so so indeed, so we are not machine definitively. So sorry for all of that. Huh? Um, so maybe then um, we will just wait that he reconnect. Huh? And we see that Luisa has joined. So this is uh, very nice. Thank you, Luisa. Oh, hello. Um, um, Andrea got a problem with his laptop. So he's restarting it. So he will join in a minute. Very good. So maybe in the meantime, so we can um, so further introduce as well Luisa. So we we have uh, so started by saying indeed that you have been as well the, the key to promote this physics matter seminar. So in 2020. <laughs> And uh, we called as well for the, the nice recording that has been completed within Physics Matter and with the support as well of uh, CERN. So as uh, you started as well, this little and nice film. So I think that if you want to say a few words in terms of how and why this engagement as well has come. Thank you. Well, it was last year um, focus of the Forum on International Physics. The definition was um, physics for developing countries. Of course, Corona well, uh, submerged all of us, which means that we had to find different solutions when we, we thought how we could figure out this initiative being uh, in a difficult time. Also, the American Physical Society had to handle plenty of things online. So this is how, when we finally uh, could proceed it was the end of the year. And therefore we thought that the most efficient way to proceed was through recorded uh, um, conferences and um, lectures, because we didn't know how many people could actually um, participate remotely um, at a given time in different places and so on. So this was the first attempt. I think that if people are interested, they can still through the webpage have access to uh, uh, last year's uh, initiative. So the idea was to uh, make um, uh, people in, uh, in various centers, um, um, as uh, illustrated by Joe Nimala, who also is uh, a main character of this initiative together with uh, Christine Darf, and uh, centers uh, all over the world. We are starting with Sesame, but we would like next uh, to involve centers from uh, Pakistan, from India, from Iran, and other countries that uh, could uh, appreciate being um, in contact with uh, uh, eminent physicists, telling them uh, stories about uh, how physics can be attractive and how physics can be helpful. So to this purpose, we also um, have made a little, a very short trailer that could be used all around if you want to, to give talks and seminars and just start with a nice and lively introduction, how and why physics matters. So that's it. And I'm very glad to see that the, the initiative is continuing and in, is now in extremely good hands. Thank you. Technically, it's still not perfect. Huh? So this <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh. It's the way life is. Oh, here he is. He's back. Yeah, I'm very sorry, but uh, my, my machine went berserk in the moment I tried to share my screen. Let us try again to share my screen. <laughs> Thank you for your presentation. And uh, finger crossing, I will now click on share screen then go to uh, 
Microsoft PowerPoint. It works very well in full it's, screen. You should see full screen. Is it white soft going full screen? Yeah, it went. So, uh, if you were still, uh, uh, if you had the patience to uh, to wait for me, and thank you very much. And uh, I am speaking from this building in this moment, so which is the uh, the the, uh, the which are the premises of the Sesame Singular Radiation Facility, where Sesame stays. It's a fantastic acrostic. It it stays for Singular Light for Experimental Science and Applications in the Middle East, and oh, it, uh, it it's a perfect trick to, have to to allow you to say open Sesame as as soon as possible. And for many years, it has this has been one of the uh, keywords of this installation. And now we are open, which is which is good. So just to remember you where Sesame is located. This is uh, the position of Sesame in the uh, in the valleys just uh, northwest of the capital of Jordan, Amman, in a village which is called Alan. And uh, uh, Sesame is a uh, secret radiation facility which has a, uh, as members, uh, uh, countries which are not normally uh, joining uh, together in, uh, in various <laughs> enterprises. Yeah, so we have Pakistan, Iran, Palestine, Jordan, Turkey, Cyprus, Israel, Egypt, all joined together in order to advance science and have a place where you can speak to each other and uh, do advancement of knowledge all together. The, uh, the structure of Sesame has been uh, taken a bit from the, uh, the governance of, of, of CERN. So apart from the members, there are also the observers and the observers are from all over the world and they have very diff they have various different uh, kind of involvement in the in the uh, in the council of sesame but uh, uh, in general they are extremely helpful in order to uh, to do what we are doing so uh, the position of sesame so i am the scientific director of sesame since one year and one of the first things that uh, strike me and also one of the things that uh, uh, in uh, induced me to uh, to come here is uh, the geographical position and how it is at uh, the at the at the center of what is we can call the cradle of history and uh, uh, in we have a set of beam lines under construction or already constructed which uh, allow to do uh, a lot of uh, measurements uh, for archaeometry and cultural heritage, uh, non-destructive measurements that can be done uh, with uh, the uh, singular radiation which is emitted uh, by, the, by the ring, so from uh, infrared to hard X-rays uh, in the exas and, uh, and uh, in the powder diffraction beam line, and in the near future, uh, the a tomography beam line and uh, a soft X-rays beam line, which will have two branch lines, uh, one for uh, studies with uh, a, uh, fluorescence uh, emission from uh, allergies to know best the, the chemistry of, uh, of the samples and another one for, for photo emission spectroscopy. So with all these tools, uh, uh, we are in the perfect position to analyze cultural heritage remains. And being here, look at what we have around. So starting from Pakistan, Harappa, that's uh, Bronze Age, uh, the, one of the very first settlements where, where uh, agriculture was, uh, was introduced in the history of mankind. And if you go on Healy in the United States, Arab Emirates, yeah. So these uh, these are Bronze Age settlements, uh, or much modern Persepolis in Iran. 
So this is this is the the the, the gate of nations of Darius the Great, and you can you can travel with westwards. Uh, Babylon, it's uh, it's there, and in 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 the, in the Iraq and down in Saudi Arabia and in Jordan, the Nabataean uh, rock uh, tombs in uh, um, in, in Petra and uh, Qasr al Farid, but. Deep, deep, deep in history, just nearby here, there is Jericho, which is one of the oldest uh, towns in history. That's, this, is, this goes back to the 10th millennium before Christ. And uh, the, which we're just remembering with Claudio just uh, if, if, if you mean it's ago, the Natamerot settlement where you can find uh, remains from ne Neanderthal and uh, uh, Homo sapiens uh, uh, from 100,000 to 500,000 years uh, years ago. So you, you, you enter the, in the, into the middle of the Paleolithic uh, age. Then also Biblos, another of the another very ancient city. This is in it is ininterruptedly inhabited since uh, six thousand years before Christ. So I mean, I come from Italy. Italy is a place which is full of cultural heritage, but uh, the 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 depth of the history in this region is something which makes you tremble. So in Syria we have uh, Ugarit. And then another of the most ancient settlement uh, the, uh, the, in Turkey, Shatal Hoyuk, which is very much studied. It's a, it's a case study of uh, very ancient uh, uh, settlements. And uh, well, this is, this is uh, almost obvious. The great, uh, the great uh, uh, pyramids uh, in Giza and uh, just to remember, this gives you the what is the extent of the history we are uh, looking at. This is one of the most recent uh, settlements that I have shown you here. And in time, Nefertiti is closer to us than the, the, the time in which these things were built. So. The, the depth in history in the in the region. Okay, here it's in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, uh, the the cave art in Algeria, also in Tunisia. There's a there's a this a, a the the Punic city of uh, sorry. So it's everywhere you look at around you, around Sesame, there are there are places uh, uh, where where the the history has been uh, has been extremely important, and uh, this is can be one of the specialties of this place. And now let me see. I think I have another slide so the i will stop sharing now and so it's with this background it's it's a particular pleasure for me to introduce uh, this the the speaker of today which i know since since many many years because uh, he has been a uh, a, a, a user of synchrotron radiation for, for, for many years, and among these synchrotron radiation uh, sources, he used a lot also Electra and the CMF beamline. And uh, the uh, Claudio Tunitz, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, 
started in uh, interested and moved to to uh, to to uh, to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to Australia and returned returned to Trieste in the in the past. Uh, he has been one of the key persons uh, in our in, in, the, in Italy to uh, to study the human history, the, the the very deep past of human history, and uh, oh, he dedicated himself to the study of. Uh, microstructure of the of these uh, uh, of the human remnants uh, and uh, uh, gave us a deep insight on the on the history of of mankind uh, so uh, and uh, i hope that you will all enjoy very much his talk because for sure it will be extremely interesting to all of us so thank you very much and thank you Claudio. I'm sorry to have been so so late and also have lost part of my slides in the in the process of uh, um, shutting down my computer but uh, this is life and uh, please go on. <laughs>